Hi students, coming to the next subject that is the operating system. Uh, I think every, uh, everyone is familiar about the operating systems uh, because nowadays every whatever the electronic gadget and whatever the computer system you have taken, that system will work only based on the operating system. So without the operating system, your equipment will not work. So let us see what is this operating system. An operating system is nothing but it is a program. It is a program that acts as an intermediary between user of a computer, user of a computer and computer hardware. So it's just act, act as an interface between the user and the computer hardware. So in your, in your computer, you are having the hardware parts. So if you want to work those hardware parts, you want to, uh, you need to install some software to run that hardware part. So it acts as an, this uh, operating system acts as an interface between the user of the computer and the computer hardware. So that exactly the operating system is. So you have to call that operating system is nothing but it is a software. It is a program. It is a program that acts as an intermediary between the user and the computer hardware. Okay. Or else it is a program. You can call this operating system is a program that controls that controls the execution of application program that controls the execution of application program so you can call like this also so it is a program the, uh, that operating system is nothing but it is a program that controls the execution of the application program so in brief we can say that this operating system acts as an interface between application and hardware okay so in general you can call this uh, operating system as an interface between the application and hardware now coming to what is the main objective of using this operating system why we are using the operating system the main objectives of an operating system the main objective is for convenience and for efficiency the system efficiency and for ability to evolve means the ability to solve the problems so this is the main objective of using the operating system okay so here in this video, I'm just explaining the basic concept of the operating system. Now coming to the different services that operating system can provide. Operating system services. So what are the services that it can provide? Program development. It can provide program development and program execution. This operating system can provide the service of program execution. It helps to access the I.O. devices. Access I.O. devices. And control access to file systems. Uh, and file system access. Error detection. And response so these are the different services that the operating system can uh, provide so it help in program development it help in program execution and to access the different IO devices and it access to file system and if there is any error detection and uh, the quick response everything will be provided by this operating systems 
so you have to think that operating system is nothing but it is a software which enables the hardware so whatever the hardware components that are present in a computer so if you take the computer or a mobile or whatever the gadget you have taken so in that you are having the hardware hardware components to activate these hardware components to activate means to work these hardware components we need operating system to activate the hardware components we need operating system that is nothing but it is a software so this operating system is of a uh, different types means uh, you can install the windows linux unix okay different operating systems are present now coming to the role what is the role of operating system role of operating system a computer a computer is a set of resources we all know that a computer consisting of set of resources so what set of resources it's having uh, these resources were used for movement means copying the data storage and processing data a computer is a set of resources for movement storage and processing data so here the operating system is responsible is main responsible for managing these resources managing these resources so operating system is the main responsible for managing the movement storage and processing data that is inside the computer okay now let us see the computer system actually what are the system components computer system components so what are the components that are present in the computer let us see that so the different components that are present in the system are we know that the hardware so what are the hardware parts the hardware are nothing but the cpu the central processing unit means the processor memory input output devices everything related to hardware so the computer consisting of first the hardware and next it consisting of operating system so operating system is a software which is used to run this hardware and you need some application programs application programs okay and the and another component that is present in computer is the users so the users may be anything means like the people means we are the users okay so the user may be the people or you can take a machine machine or other computers also you call it as a users so whenever you are seeing the users you you won't uh, estimate that the user is nothing but it is only the people no it is not the people okay the user may be machine or it may be the other co computer okay so here the interaction between the user and the hardware okay so this completely it's a computer or else the user may be one computer is interacting with the another computer one computer is interacting with the another computer so here this you call it as a user this user is interacting with the another computer so like that so everything the computer system components or the hardware it consists of hardware operating system application programs and the users so let me write that uh, so here if you take another page I am just writing the abstract view of the system. Abstract view of system. So let us see what is the abstract view of the system. So here I am just taking uh, suppose the users. This is one user. Users. Okay. So user 1, I said user may be a people or a system or uh, any other computer, okay, user 1, user 2, user 3 up to user n, okay, so many users can 
interact. So these users are interacting with the user is in first one user is interacting with the compiler assembler or to text editor means any of the application program here you call this as an application programs the compiler assembler text editor these are all the application programs or else the database system database system so this is the system and application program application program so here you are having operating system operating system so this operating system consisting of this is the computer hardware so this is complete the abstract view of any whatever the system you have taken the computer system okay that computer system abstract view first you are having the computer hardware this computer hardware is communicating uh, in between the application program and the computer hardware and operating system is there so this operating system is acts as an interface between the application program and the computer hardware so the application program may be any of the uh, programs that is the compiler assembler text editor database system everything that is uh, present in the uh, to run the programs okay so to run the programs we need some applications so those applications are already installed in this uh, system so means uh, in the operating system so here the different users the user one user two user three up to user and these users may be the people or a, uh, or a system or any other computer component computer okay so this is just an abstract view of the system now let us see the different evaluations of operating system evaluations of operating system so what are the different evaluations of operating system a major operating system will evolve over time for a number of reasons so each time the operating system may be uh, is upgrading for number of reasons so what are those reasons so the, those reasons may be a hardware upgrade means it may be any hardware upgrade or it may be new a new type of hardware is added a new type of hardware is added or a new services are provided new services are provided so for for those reasons every time the operating system is going to be evolved so whenever the hardware is upgraded or new type of hardware is added or there's some new services or uh, introduced so we have to evolve this operating system so the stages that are included in this operating system is stages included in this operating system is suppose if you are taken anything like so here the stages up first it takes the serial processing the starting stage of operating system is always in the serial processing next it uses the simple batch system next stage of operating system they go for the simple batch system next it is going for the multi programming batch system multi programmed batch system and time sharing system 
time sharing system so still some more stages are there means the parallel system distributed system real operating system so these are the different stages that are uh, included in the uh, evolution of operating system for so first it starts with the serial processing and it continuing still it is continuing the evaluation of the op uh, operating system is still continuing okay so this is about the different stages that are included in the operating system so this video covers the uh, the introduction part of the operating system thank you